Thank you very much. Wow, we have some big ones today. Huh? This is a room loaded up. Wow, Paul resident. Thank you very much. Thank you. Why did you lie to the American people, and why should we trust what you have to say Such now? A terrible question and the phraseology. I didn't lie. What I said is we have to be calm. We can't be panicked. Uh, I knew that the tapes were there. These were a series of phone calls that we had, mostly phone calls. And uh, Bob Woodward is somebody that uh, I respect just from hearing the name for many, many years, not knowing too much about his work, not caring about his work. But I if Bob Woodward thought it was bad, then he should have immediately gone out publicly, not wait four months. You know, he's had that statement for four months, maybe five months. He's had it for a long time. It was a series of taped interviews, mostly by telephone. Quick ones, not long ones, quick ones. And it was, I did it out of curiosity, because I do have respect, and I want to see. I wonder whether or not somebody like that can write good. I don't think he can, but let's see what happens. Yeah, All I'm doing is, no, I don't want to jump up and down and start screaming, death, death because that's not what it's about. We have to lead a country. We're leading a great country, and we're doing a great job. And the people that have done such a good job should be given the kind of credit that they deserve. We possibly have done the best jobs. There's a report that I have here someplace where China said it was airborne earlier than the statements I made. People knew it was airborne. This was nothing. This was no big When I say it was airborne, everybody knew it was airborne. This was no big thing. I know that in February. Well, read the reports. China came out with a statement that it was an airborne disease. I heard it was an airborne disease. I assumed it early on. Uh, our nuclear program has been put into gear like never before. And in particular, hopefully, we won't have to use that, because that's a whole new level of destruction, and we never want to just have to pray to God we never have to use that. Yeah. You'll be hearing other countries coming in over a relatively short period of time, and you could have peace in the Middle East. I think what ultimately will happen is you're going to have quite a few countries come in. The big ones are going to be coming in. I spoke to the king of Saudi Arabia, so we're talking. We're starting a — we just started the dialogue. And uh, you'll have them come in, and I think Two things are going to happen. Iran will, uh, if we win the election, Iran will come and uh, sign a deal with us very, very rapidly within.